play the intro for you first, and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar. So here we go. <laughs> So how do you play that? You start off with a power chord shape, and that's index finger on seventh position on the D string and ring finger on ninth position on the G string. And make sure that you put that index finger also on the G string because you'll need that later, that small bar. So keep that in mind. And you play uh, A string, G string, D string, G string, and that G string now is without that ring finger. So there we need that small bar. So like this, A, G, D, and then lift your ring finger, G string, D string, then A string open, then that index finger as a small bar on the G and D string in fifth position. There you play G string and D string. Then that open A string again, and then you move that small bar up again to the seventh position, where you play G string and D string. So like this, slowly, three, four. And you end with two open A strings. Now for the down and up strokes. Here it goes. Three, four, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now for the third and fourth bar. They're pretty similar to the first two. Uh, the difference is with the third bar is that you don't have that A open A string on the first beat anymore. Um, so it makes more sense to first play um, the last uh, the last beat of the previous bar, where you have that A uh, string played twice. So like this: one, two, three. <laughs> So what do you play? On the fourth beat, you play that um, A string with a down and up stroke, of course. And you have that power chord shape. And you have your ring finger on ninth position on uh, the G string. You play that. That seventh position D string. Sorry. So you have that um, ring finger on ninth position on that uh, G string. And you play that seventh position on the D string. Lift your ring finger. 7th position G string to 7th position D string and open A string. You move that index finger to 5th position, then you play G string and D string. Open A string again, and then with your little finger or ring finger, you play 7th position on the G string. After that, you play a C power chord. With this, which is index finger in third position on the A string and little finger or ring finger in fifth position on the D string. And then you stretch your index finger to second position on that B string, which makes it a G with B in the bass. And then you play open A string. So bars three and four, starting on the fourth beat of the Second bar, hope that makes sense to you. One, two, three, four, eight. Now 
Now for the down and up strokes. One, two, three. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, down. Then bars five and six are uh, pretty much the same as bars one and two, with uh, now again the exception that uh, you don't have that uh, A string on the first beat, but for the rest everything is the same. So um, I'll pick it up on the three end of the previous bar, that C power chord. So one, two, three. <laughs> Then you get to uh, bars seven and eight, and there the the seventh bar is pretty much the same as um, the third bar that we did, uh, with the exception that on the four end instead of that fifth position on the G string, you now play a G chord, and that G chord is with ring finger in third position on the B string, and middle finger in third position on the E string, so that. Uh, seventh bar goes like this uh, we'll start on the previous bar in the on the fourth beat one two three four eight and you play the g chord in the next bar you play it once more and you play more or less the bass then you play D5, which is ring finger in third position on the B string and index finger, second position on the G string. And then you get that C power chord to G with B in the bass to A power chord. So bars seven and eight, like this, start on the fourth beat of the previous bar. One, two, three, four, eight. Down and up strokes there. One, two, three. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 down. All right, so let's try to play um, the first eight bars together. Of course, don't forget that bars one through four are repeated a number of times. I believe it's five times. Or played six times i'm not sure and uh bars uh five through uh eight that we are doing now is uh played at the very end of it so keep that in mind keep that in mind very important okay so um we'll play bars one through four and five through eight after another one two three four <laughs> Right. So now for the next four bars, um, I'll play it for you now, and uh, then we'll get into how to play it on the guitar. So uh, we'll pick it up at the three end of the previous bar because there we have that C power chord to G with B in the bass to A, and that makes it makes more sense to start there. So one, two, three. <laughs> So what do you play? After having played that open A power chord, you play that uh, small power chord in uh, seventh position on the D string again. With ring finger and index finger. So seventh position, ninth position. And you play that. Then seventh position on both D and G string. And then put your ring finger back in ninth position on the G string. Then, you play 
seventh position on uh, both G and D string with your ring finger. Fifth position on both G and D string with your index finger. And then you play a D power chord with index finger, ring finger, and little finger. Then you play open A string, then that C power chord to G with B in the bass. So like this, three, four. All right, now for the next uh, two bars, uh, you play it exactly the same with the exception that now on the first beat, you have that open A string. So you play three, four. <laughs> So those four bars together will start on the uh, three end of the previous bar. And it's like this. One, two, three. 